guys welcome back to my kitchen happy tuesday i hope you're all staying okay and i hope you're all taking care of yourself guys i just want to say thank you very much for your love and support without you guys it would have been impossible for me to do what i'm doing but you guys make it possible and i really really appreciate it and i would like to shout out a big thank you to the two trainee doctor who is supporting me on my journey and I would also like to say happy birthday today to little Ruby who is eight years old I just want to wish Ruby a very happy birthday enjoy yourself Ruby have lots of fun I love you Ruby take care speak to you soon Ruby and guys i'm back with another recipe again in my kitchen and today i will be doing hot and spicy jerk pork in my oven and i'll be doing this this is a sunday roast and i'll be doing it with um i'll be doing it with some vegetables broccoli carrot and cauliflower over here i've got some potato i've already cooked and i'm also gonna add some roast potato to my dish and a bit of salad to my dish so guys my pork is right here it's all washed and it's ready for seasoning so i'm gonna give my hands a good wash and then i'm gonna get stuck straight into it So guys, right here, I'm, I'll be using this bowl for all my ingredients, what I'll be using to season my jerk pork. So right here, I've got my jerk seasoning, and I'm using uh, this season contains salt, like I always remind you guys, so I do not use salt when I'm doing my meat. I just continue to use my seasoning which contain all the salts and right here is pork seasoning onions granules Paprikan, no, paprika. No. Garlic. Cajun seasoning. Guy, this season contain a lots of different herbs. It also contain garlic, black pepper, um, onions, and pimento seed. It contain a lot of stuff. So it's really good to use this seasoning to season your meat and mix herbs. So I've got my season here and what I am going to do, I am going to add my jerk because as you know, I'm doing jerk pork oven style. In the Caribbean, they do it in a jam, but I'm not living in the Caribbean, I'm living in England. So the closest I can get to it is do it in my oven. I'm also using some green seasoning. I made my own, but it's finished. So next time I'm going to show you guys how to make your own green season at home. And it's dead easy. It's not hard, it's very easy to do. So 
so I've got all my seasoning together now so what I'm going to do I am going to just combine them together you can sprinkle the dry season over your meat if you like it's all entirely up to you you do what's best suited you but I prefer, I'm just doing it this way So I've combined all my seasoning together and I am now going to apply it to my pork and I'm going to rub it in gentle and make sure it dissolves into my meat. The beauty of eating is when you can taste all the flavors from the meal what you are eating and that's how you enjoy your meal. If you don't taste the flavor it's no good because you won't enjoy your meal so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the dry dry pork seasoning over my meat right so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit so about that amount all over then I'm gonna turn my pork on the next side and I'm doing the same thing so I'm sprinkling that amount all over And then I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper to it. And I'm going to just turn it over on the next side. That's it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to apply my seasoning, my jerk seasoning, all over my meat. And I'm going to make sure to season get into my meat so that you can taste that lovely, delicious taste when you're enjoying your meal and what I'm also gonna do turn it over on the next side guys when you're applying your jerk season just gentle massage it into the meat don't do it in a rush because if you rush it too much it won't have that outstanding flavor what you are looking for. This thing smell really good. Honest guy, I'm not joking. This meat smell really good. The best way to do this guy is to leave it in your fridge for 24 hours to marinate. But to be honest with you guys, when I cook my meat, I'm not one for self-praise, but all my dishes are tasting very, very delicious. Whether marinate or not, tasting very delicious. And I can't really marinate meat when I'm teaching you guys how to cook from start to finish. I really cannot do that because if I do that, then you guys won't see from start to finish. And that's not, that's no good. So I have to make sure I show you guys from start to finish. As you can see, I'm squeezing into the meat to make sure all my seasons are all blend in nicely. So 
So guys, look what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna rinse my knife off. Right, so look careful what I'm doing, guys. I'm just gonna use my knife and punch some little hole all over my meat. Make sure all my seasoning goes straight into my meat. So just punch some little holes, but be careful when you are doing this. I know what I'm doing, so just be careful. If you prefer, you know. Yeah, just do it like that. Don't lift it up like what I'm doing, because I know what I'm doing. But when you're punching the holes, just leave it flat. In and do it because you might the knife might slip you might hurt yourself so just leave it like that and then punch all the holes straight over your meat then turn it over on the next side and do the same thing so by punching all the holes all over your meat it helps the season to work its way through the meat and give it a more outstanding and delicious flavor and that is exactly what we are aiming for finger licking good that's what we want finger licking good if you are new to my channel my veggies my potato and my rice and peas I did not start it I did not show you on camera what to do and my reason for that is because I've already had upload teaching people what to do so all you have to do is have a browse through my channel and this is only if you are new and you will see my video. Okay, so I think we have punch enough holes already. So this is ready now to go in my oven. My oven is preheat and it is waiting for my pork to go in and start it roasting. And this is a Sunday dinner meal. So guys, this is my baking tray right here with some greaseproof baking paper in the thing. So what I am going to do now, I am just going to put my pork in and put it in the oven to bake for 35 minutes. So let's get started. So that's my pork right there guy wow this pork is looking absolutely good the smell is guys the smell is knocking me out only if you could smell it through the phone it is absolutely knocking me out it smells really really good so i'm not i'm not gonna put it in the oven and i'm gonna leave it for 35 minutes to bake until it's soft and juicy and tender guys 
guys i'm just gonna do a bit of gravy to go with my dinner so i'm using a bit of soft margarine it's bring the flavor out in your gravy more than when you use the oil so i'm just using a small amount I'm just letting it melt. It's all melt. So I'm just going to add my spring onion and my hot scotch bonnet pepper. Vegetable peppers, some people call it sweet peppers. Tomato. Thyme. White onions. And crushed garlic. Then give it a stir. This smells really, really good. I'm just going to add a bit of my dark soy sauce, a tablespoonful. I'm just going to add another one. And then I'm going to add a bit of my hot peri peri sauce. And I'm also going to add a bit of my spicy Jamaican jerk barbecue sauce. And this sauce is to go with my jerk pork. So it's gonna be good. I'm just giving it a shake. I don't wanna add too much because the pork is already very fiery. So I don't want the gravy to be too fiery. So I just need it to bring the flavor out in my gravy. So guys, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a bit of boiling water. Not too much water for it to be to be watery. Like I've already told you in all my videos. Just a little bit of water. What I'm intend to do is use my spoon and try to smash up all my ingredients so that it can easily cook out. Once it cook out then my gravy will get thick. So I'm just using my spoon to combine all my ingredients together and smash them out so that it can easily cook out. So guys, I'm now going to add some boiling water. And this is my boiling water. I'm just going to add some boiling water, not too much water. So I'm just adding that amount of water 
chocolate guy. Like you can see. By the time all my ingredients cook out, my gravy will be thick and ready to go. Yes, my gravy is all getting thick, so I'm just gonna leave it for a couple minutes more. Look, it's all running. A couple minutes more and then it'll be ready for putting the heat out. Yeah. You can strain the gravy if you want, or you can just leave it as it is. It's entirely up to you. You've got options of straining it if you want to get rid of all the ingredients like those, or if you just want to leave it as it is. The choice is yours. But look at how thick it is, guys. Look at that. Really thick. We don't want any runny gravy, and we don't want it to be over too thick. So really for fuck I'm just gonna put the heat out because I think this is quite okay. So I'm putting the heat out. Hi my beautiful people. My Sunday roast dinner is now ready and I am about to have a taste and then I'll tell you guys exactly what I think about this delicious meal. What I just prepared in the comfort of my own kitchen. So guys, please eat with me. So over here is my salad, my rice and peas. I've already uploaded videos with rice and peas, teaching you how to cook rice and peas from finish, from start to finish. This is my cream mashed potato, my steamed vegetables, my gravy, my roast potato, and my jerk chicken with my bacon nice and crispy fried bacon as a finishing touch so look at my roast jerk pork it's looking really really good really good and look at that it's nice and tender and it's all juicy and i'm going to have a taste of my meal so let's eat Oh, that's my cream potato. Mm -mm. Really nice. My roast potato. Straight into my gravy. I love my gravy, guy. Look at that. Wow. Look at that, guy. Oh, my red. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Really nice, very delicious, very, very nice. And I'm gonna have a taste of my carrot. I'm having a taste of everything. Like right, cherry tomato, very delicious. And my nice and crispy streaky bacon. You don't have to be streaky bacon. Streaky bacon. You can have bacon of your own choice. But I love streaky bacon. And this just bring a finishing touch to this delicious dish what I've made. So I'm gonna dip it into my gravy. And Straight in my mouth. Mm -mm. Mm. Very delicious, guy. Very, very delicious. Everything is tasting really nice. Let's have a little taste of my pork. I'm just having a small amount. Soft and tender and juicy and very, very spicy. Very spicy. Mm. This dish is very delicious. Guys, I'm having a glass of my white grape juice to wash it down. Mm. Very nice. Guys, grape juice, non alcohol grape juice. You can get this from your supermarket, your local shops. I don't drink alcohol, so this is what I drink.
and it's very very nice so guys if you like my video give it a couple thumbs up couple likes and share subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel tell a friend and a friend tell a friend thanks for watching my video enjoy this meal guys try and make this delicious roast dinner meal at home in the comfort of your own kitchen for you and your family so from my kitchen to your kitchen love you guys bless up stay safe see you soon in my next video a lot lot more recipes and tips and how to cook up a storm at home and enjoy with your family see you i'm out bye